So a typical day, um, it's pretty busy. Um, I train morning and night, uh, sort of two hours in the morning in the water. Um, we often then do gym or a physio or a sort of Pilates after. And then I sort of go home, try and get a rest in, um, a bit of study if I need to, have lunch and then get ready for the session that night, which is usually a big sort of session and, and sort of upwards from two to three hours. Usually come home, have dinner, try and tidy up any work that I need to and, and sort of get to bed and, and do it all again the next day. Um, I do have one sort of pre-race ritual. Um, I was presented an Australian flag when I was really young and made my first sort of junior team. And the coach said, you know, it's bad luck if it touches the ground. Um, and so we've been sort of 12 years now and it's never touched the ground once. Um, I always travel with it and sort of hang it up in my room, um, you know, when we're overseas. Um, during the 2000 Sydney Olympics was the first time that I ever said, I'd said I wanted to swim for Australia. Um, I watched it sort of from start to finish. Um, I didn't really care what sport it was. Um, and I said to mum, I want to go to the Olympics one day. And little did I know, I guess, the work involved. But, um, you know, it's a pretty proud moment sort of looking back, you know, some 20 years ago, um, you know, to where I am today. In my downtime, I, I enjoy sort of watching movies and, and I enjoy going to the beach. Um, it doesn't happen too often because, you know, our days are pretty jam-packed and um, usually when we're not training, we're sort of resting or preparing for the next session. So there's not a lot of free time, but I like to be as normal as possible, sort of going out to dinners, um, you know, in Brisbane, um, you know, enjoying a movie or, or sort of going to the beach. You know, I think watching athletes at the absolute best perform, you know, their sport is, is absolutely inspiring. Um, you know, their physical feats are incredible. Um, but I also get inspired by my parents. Um, you know, they have incredible hard work ethic and I think that's where I sort of got um, a lot of my um, char characteristics from. My career post-swimming um, will definitely be involved in the property industry somehow. Um, as for exactly what that looks like, I'm not too sure. I used to want to um, be a property developer, but since sort of working with Trilogy and, and sort of working on the lending side, um, you know, I've really enjoyed that as well as acquisition. So, you know, I'm not really sure where exactly I'll, I'll end up, but, you know, absolutely in the property sector. So one of my biggest fears was sort of finishing a university degree and never working a nine to five job. Um, and Trilogy came forward and gave me some opportunity to learn some, um, gain some experience from the best um, in the industry. And so I've really enjoyed my time here, working with the portfolio managers, um, you know, going onto sites and, and seeing the construction take shape. It's one of them, um, you know, a good day in the office when you get to go on site. Um, but I really want to learn as much as I can. You know, they've, they've got some great knowledge and, um, you know, I'm sort of like a sponge, sort of taking in everything that they have to offer. And, um, you know, my knowledge has certainly, you know, um, expanded, you know, tenfold and, and looking forward to the next couple of years and, and seeing what I can learn in the future.